Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, wherever you are in the world. My name is Nick Ferrand, and these are my Italian one take profty tours. Now, <laughs> today's tour is the most exquisite interior designs property which I have seen and in, in, in a very long time. Well, love animals. Today is the 24th of November and it is a Thursday and so therefore um, it is Thanksgiving and so all of you in America, my dear friends who watch this channel, I'd just like to say to you, Happy Thanksgiving. It's also my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so today we are going to go on this wonderful, wonderful rummage and it, we're going to go, we're going to do a interior design. That's what we're going to do, isn't it, Pusscat? Interior design, that's what we do. And we're going to see these just incredible things. Are you ready? Let's go. Now, the first thing we're going to do is the kitchen. And I just, I just adore this kitchen. It's just absolutely fantastic. And this kitchen, uh, and you can see the burner there, um, is from a French company. And it's all in stainless steel, um, and metal and one of the things I absolutely adore cooking one of the things which I love which I just want to show you first of all is that that I mean if you were a chef and you want to just add a pinch of salt it's just phenomenal now it works with gas and electricity and it has this beautiful hob and it has this just amazing amazing kind of color blue color and if i do this you can see that it is all steel and i think and i'm going to look this company up and i will post the link uh, in the description below but i think that is jolly expensive and as i come round, there is a central aisle which again is in stainless steel and then to the right of me you have all the things that you would want from a luxury Italian property. You've got a sub-zero fridge and a gaggio. I hope I said that right. Microwave, ice maker, and it's just beautiful. I mean, what a kitchen. I'm absolutely in heaven. And when we get outside, I'm gonna show you all the just beauty which is surrounding, but I'm just now gonna pull the camera around as we step forward so you can get a full presentation of the kitchen area. Oh really, what a kitchen that is. That is phenomenal. Right, let's just come down here because the next place we're gonna go is the dining room. And you come down into this beautiful hallway and as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the interior design of this house is really just phenomenal. And we are going to go now to what would have been the stables. And as we come through, you originally see barrel vaulted ceilings. They look like they've been sandblasted. And again, I just, I'm, I'm just going to come down because I, I mean, I'm going to be blown away or you're going to be blown away, I should say, because the quality here and, you know, they've kept all the original features. And here is the line from the original stone um, and the trough where they would have mucked out. And on the other side, and as we pull up, and I'm going to pull up and we're just going to go to the right you can see the original manger and I, I mean, what a room. Oh, it's just beautiful. Let me come around here. Now it does slope away. So I suppose that those people on the right hand side of the table are going to be a little bit taller than those on the left. So I would put the shorties on the right and the taller ones on the left. <laughs> What a beautiful space. And then they've purchased uh, all these cupboards and they've been distressed. And it's a really beautiful color. Absolutely beautiful. 
Uh, look at the stonework on that arch as we uh, come back through. I'm going to uh, take you outside later on. As I said to you, this is going to be a long one, um, but it, it, it's well worth it because, you know, you're going to get... You're just, you're just going to see things which you don't normally see. Now, as we come down just to the left, I didn't show you, and we're not going to do everything, but I am just going to pop in um, and show you the guest powder room. And again, I just love the paintwork. Beautiful sink. Incredibly stylish. It just really is style personified. Now, this apartment on the ground floor um, has a poured concrete screed um, and I really like it and I think it works incredibly well with the interior design of this house. Don't worry everybody, there's plenty of terracotta. <laughs> now look, this is a day room and this is absolutely perfect for a quick lunch instead of a formal supper in the stable. Beautiful light. Lovely detail which they've left in the corner of the original brickwork. As I said to you, this building dates back to the 16th century. And as we go around, um, I'm going to show you some 16th century elements. <laughs> Right, are you ready? Oh, it's just stunning. What wonderful taste that the owners have. Everything which I'm looking at is stylish. It really is. You've got air conditioning, recessed lighting. Now what's in front of me is an elevator. And we're going to go up in the elevator in a minute. What a stylish house this is. Right, we're going to go into a child's bedroom on the ground floor. And we're just going to come through. This has really nice thick wooden floors and it's just beautiful really absolutely beautiful and if I lift up and you can see now I will tell you that that ceiling has been sandblasted you've got all the original terracotta tiles and they are just lovely air conditioning and beautiful built-in closets with lamps <laughs> and it's very interesting actually because you don't normally see these houses with wallpaper um, and I think that's really quite refreshing. Now let's pull around here because we're going to go into the bathroom. No B-Day, but um, looks like a Corian bath. Again, a beautiful texture which they've used on the plasterwork. And I do like these tiles. I don't know whether I can show you them, but they're like perforated. Can you see that? I just think that's really interesting. I might, uh, I might ask the owner where he got them from. I think it's beautiful. Really beautiful. Double glazing on all the windows, fly screens. Wow. <laughs> it really is a, a, you know, a really beautiful wow. And, um, to be honest with you, we've only just begun. Right, we're going to go into the elevator because that is the only way up in this glass elevator 
to the master bedroom suite. Right, I'm inside the elevator cubicle and you've got to press the button, one, and then it will move and you have to keep your finger on it. Oh, well maybe I haven't closed the door. <laughs> that is fantastic. Also, I just love the way that they've... Actually, it's not stainless steel, it's just steel, but it's beginning to rust. And anybody who watches my videos will know that I absolutely adore a bit of rust. Okay, so here we come out. And we're going into the master bedroom. And again, what an incredible room this is. And they have used a wallpaper. I mean, it's quite Vasarelli, isn't it? At the back. I can get a bit closer to that so I can show you. It's kind of, in a way, it mimics what was uh, downstairs. Yeah. I just love it. Absolutely adore it. Now I can see in this room that there's been a new roof which has been put on here, but the original woodwork air conditioning radiators, not underfloor central heating. And do you see that little nook to just to the bottom of the television? Um, and we're going to go around and show you the master bedroom. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be quite fun, actually. Right. Lovely hallway, again, leading through. Into a dressing room, which I'm incredibly envious about. But this is the master bedroom suite and his and hers or him and him or she and she again beautiful flooring and then as I come around past the light and then back then you've got a bath and a shower but what's incredibly interesting about it is that if you're in the bath and someone's in the bed, you can wave. <laughs> I'm not going to say any more than that. Again, the texture and, uh, and the quality of the finishing that they've used. in this property is just sublime. There you are, there's a new word for you. It really is. I just absolutely adore it. Now in we go to the dressing room. And it looks like a shop. It's what would you expect if you went into a shop Just beautiful. Yes, they do have help. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's, it's a very special place. It really is. You see how that beam runs down from one side to the other? Uh, continuity. The lighting in here was beautiful, all the lights that they've used. It's been incredibly well thought out. Now you might be saying to me what happens in the case of emergency and there is a trap door and a secondary means of escape. Oh 
Wow. Yeah. That is interior love in an elevator. <laughs> it really is just beautiful. Okay, we are going to go outside now and um, I'm going to show you the outside of the property and then we're going to go into apartment two and would you believe it, there are four apartments and they are equally as beautiful as this one. Right, I've just come up to the stairs onto the first floor and we're going to open this door into what is a really beautiful apartment. I mean, what thought has gone into this, really? It's got a steel staircase with glass panels, which go up to a snug above with a single bed. I mean, if you came with the kids, it'd just be a beautiful place to stay. And this is really interesting because this is a, I would assume a temporary kitchen with a lid on which you could close and a little coffee making area. And the drawer in the middle is a refrigerator. Oh, what style, it really is absolutely charming. Everything about it, Archimedes lights. I just love it, I just really do I think it's beautiful. Again, beautiful, um, thick wooden floors as we come through into the bedroom. You have a double bed, which is an antiques, arts and crafts. This house has a new ceiling. And as if I pull up here, I can see an air conditioning unit which is above and a galleyed sleeping area again with another bed. Now the door to the right of me just goes back into the living room with a kitchen and then we come through into the bathroom and you have a mosaic tiled green with glass shower unit really nice stainless steel head a beautiful view overlooking the tuscan countryside you can get the reflection in the window actually i do like that red light Yeah, it's just so, it's just stylish. You know, even down to the distressed mirror. Stunning, beautiful streaming light coming through the window. It's just beautiful. Come on, off we go, next one. Now I've just come down the stairs um, and then there's another staircase coming down because I wanted to show you this beautiful arch original archway and if we come into here uh, you've just got so much design and and love and care but I am going to show you this because I wanted to show you this and we're just going to push in here and I'm not quite sure about the light as we get in because this is an area of the cantina and it hasn't been restored but yeah I mean it's what you want as a cantina but I want to show you that back wall I mean that brickwork is 700 years old. <laughs> and then you've got these little nooks. I hope I can focus. Can you see in there, just that? And that's where you would have put your candles. And just up here, if I can come up, this has a wooden ceiling. And that would have been a very expensive and time consuming thing to do without a machine and just here you can see where you've got a little noggin where 
it's been the, the, the beam's been placed and then supported by a small piece of wood. Let's see if I can get out here. It's a really beautiful space. Okay, so when we come out of there, I'm just going to turn to the left. And again, you've got the kind of little arch and yeah, I like the little cockerel that's there. And then we come along to the cantina. Well, is this the best room in the house? <laughs> Comments below. Okay, I'm just going to pull around again. You can see the stonework. History. It's been beautifully maintained. It's absolutely beautiful. I've met the housekeeper and she's charming. Seating area to the left, bread oven. And we're not really, we don't really have time to do you know, every nook and cranny, it's just too much to do. And here we go into the next apartment. And I mean, what can one say? It's equally as beautiful. What I thought was really interesting was you know, this. You see that? Would you tied something on? Incredibly stylish. Very nice kitchen. And the door to the right that you can see is a great big fridge freezer. I love the color that they've used on the kitchen or kitchenette. And then you've got an electric hob and a door leading out into the garden area. Again, beautiful wooden floors. And that cupboard to the right of me looks like a military chest with handles on the side in three parts. What an exquisite room. Beautiful fireplace, air conditioning. In fact, I'm gonna actually pull back and show you that because I really do like the detail. Now, another thing which is quite interesting, which you don't commonly see in, uh, in Italian houses is that they've, they've almost used a, you know, old, Victorian or French style beading on the walls. Let's come along here and then come down into the master bedroom. And again, as I come in, You have a beautiful bed. Just a lovely, exquisite room. And as we come forward, you've got a small writing desk 
and the furniture which they've chosen for each of the rooms. It's just so stylish. It's, you know, less is more, but it's been incredibly well thought out. What a beautiful bathroom this is. In that cupboard there is a gas boiler. Each apartment and house has its own gas boiler. And then you come around and you have a nice bath, bidet and sink. And I would have thought that this would have been a stable at some stage. I really do like the color. Closet. Aircon. And as we come up on the uh, return, again, the ceiling has been sandblasted. And then you have this wonderful built-in cupboard. It's like a five-star hotel. Everything about it is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now let's get outside and I'm going to show you the games room and a bit of the grounds. Okay, I'm just stepping out of where we started the video, first of all, and I have this most, I mean, how does one describe it? It's, it's great. No, it's better than great. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful swimming pool with mosaic tiles. And I'm just going to pull to the right. And do you see that huge barrel, which is next to the swimming pool? That is the outdoor shower. I just think the styling is sublime. That's, a, that's it, sublime. I mean, what a pool, what a house. Right, in we go. Camera will adjust. And then here you have the pool house. Again, a Hessian wallpaper. I love that. I need to find out who did the interior designing because I think whoever he or she did this needs to be complimented. I will try to find out and put a link. Uh, sauna, as one would expect with a quality, with a house of this quality. Oh, I do like that light. Again, beautiful tiles. What's that to the right? Oh, it's a bathroom. Just gonna pull round. I don't know whether we need to go in. I'm gonna pop in a little bit. There's a toilet to the right, and then there is a closed shower to the left. Uh, if I do pull up there, I just want to come up here. You see the tiles, color, lighting, inspirational. It certainly made my day. And it's my birthday. <laughs> if I come up here. And this is the owner's office. I just want to get up and show you this. Yep. It's a privilege to uh, bring you on this tour today. I just, uh, I just can't believe it. 
really is just such a beautiful house. I'm just going to pull around. Air conditioning. A whopper of a TV. Phenomenal. Well, let's get out and I'm going to show you a view of the house from the back. Um, the sun is directly behind the house, so I'm not quite sure how well I can do, but I will do my very best for you. Oh, the sun's come out beautiful. Camera will adjust. And let's see whether I can show you the back. As we step forward, we might be able to go in and out of the sunlight. Just wait until the sun just sets behind or sets or just drops behind the house itself. I hope you can see that. Just got to pull around slowly. Beautiful far reaching view. Now, one house which I'm not going to show you um, because they have a full, uh, full time caretaker is the house just to the right of the pool house which you can see in the distance but the thing i do want to show you which i thought was so much fun i really do love that idea what a fantastic i mean what a, a fantastic idea uh, for a shower unit stylish can you see in the distance just the most beautiful playhouse I think I've ever seen. Right, let's get uh, back up to where we first started the video and I'm going to give you a little bit of information. What a house. <laughs> what can I say? Comments below. Comments below. <laughs> uh, I just loved shooting this property and I love being here because I one I love Italian architecture and two I love interior design and this is a, just a combination of all things that you want now you might not agree with everything some of you will not like poured concrete flooring I actually think in certain places it looks amazing and it does look amazing along here. Now, for further information on this property, there is a link to the property description. So all you need to do is click on the description and you have all the information you need. And if you want further information, please send us an email at info at abodeitaly.com. I hope you enjoyed this one. My name is Nick Brand and these are my Italian one take property tours for those of you who have subscribed to this channel. Thank you. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, would you be so kind as it's my birthday <laughs> and just push, push the buttons below and that would help me so I can help you. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.